Welcome to Pull My Focus, where we give you the inside tips you need to make great video. You want to buy a C-Stand and you have some questions. Probably one of the first ones is, what size should I get? Well, I had that same question when I actually went to buy versus rent C-Stands. Normally you want to rent a C-Stand, you just say, hey, I, you know, give me 20 C-Stands and they're a standard size. Well, what size was that? Come to find out it's the 40 inch. 40, I believe that's not from the ground, I believe it's from the top of the legs. Uh, so the 40 inch is your standard. And for the most part, you could pretty much do everything you need to do with that standard size. Now, the smaller one has many nicknames sometimes called a mini, is the 20 inch. And um, maybe get one or two of those depending on how much of a grip kit you're gonna buy. But uh, I find they're useful now and then. Uh, but really those are pretty much the only two sizes that you'll need. Now remember when you buy a C-Stand, make sure you're getting a head and a grip arm, right? Uh, that's just standard, but sometimes I've seen in places where you purchase them, you don't automatically get them and a C-Stand without a grip and a head is kind of useless. The next question I see pop up now and then is, should I get a black C-Stand? Because instead of a chrome, because won't the chrome reflect light all over the set? Well, pretty much every film set I've ever been on had chrome grip stands, and it was just never an issue. Because grip stands are round, so it's not like they're a flat metal surface like a mirror reflecting you know, light all over the set. It only became a problem at times when they were reflected in you know, a mirror, glass or something like that on a set. And that's easy to do with. You just throw some duvetine black cloth over it or the legs or, or clip it to the stand or you use black paper tape. If you use black paper tape, do not wrap it around the stand. Place it like a, a piece of flat card, black card as if it was, you know, had glue on, adhesive on one side. So you just tack it to it. If you wrap it around it, it will be hell to get it off afterwards. The next question is leg, is what type of legs? Now, the standard are spring-loaded that open between your legs in a uh, counterclockwise direction and close in a clockwise direction because you never turn C-stands upside down to open the legs. See our video about how to use C-stands uh, where we explain a how and why. Uh, those are simplest and easiest to use um, and the most common I uh, receive when I rent C-stands. Whenever I grip back in the day, I mean, you would literally have like, maybe not 100, but though on some jobs I think we did, but we had bins and bins full of C-stands. And so opening them and closing them at the end of the day to put them away, um, you wanted that to be quick and easy. Another type of base is what's called a turtle base. So there's a stand called a C plus stand and that the legs can be removed, which is super handy to be able to fit it like for me in my SUV uh, and the smaller kits and whatnot. On a traditional film set, we would have a few of those stands because we would take those legs off of the stand and we would use that turtle base on the ground for large lights, HMIs and whatnot, that needed to be that low to the ground. Cause it was just perfect uh, and designed for that use. It was stable and it took that 2K pin that those large lights use. The other base type has a fretted screw. It has a sliding leg, sometimes called a Rocky Mountain leg. And those uh, are real pain to open. The legs open different ways, like Sometimes the bottom two are spring-loaded. Uh, it's fine if you just have a few, like my two minis are that style. But I find that having that raisable leg, right, that rising leg, um, uh, in all my days of gripping, we never used it. Um, you always wanted to have your grip stand on a solid base, and the purpose of that leg was to, you know, maybe use it on a set of stairs if, if you had to get it over there, or, uh, you know, on a hill, or, or, uneven ground, once in a blue moon maybe, but generally we would use wedges and other things to make sure that that C-stand was on a good base. Rocky Mountain leg on a light stand outside, whole different ball game, that can make all the difference in making sure that light is level and stable. But I just don't see the need to get it 
in a C-State. Next question, what brand? There, I have to be honest, I really can't answer that question because there are so many now. Back in the day, in the film biz, it was pretty much Matthews, Avenger, and American Grip. The still photography world maybe had a few others, but there are so many now and I just haven't used them, so I, I can't recommend any of those. Um, they might be great uh, for the price, but what I found is <clears throat> you're only gonna get so many stands and uh, you want quality. Um, they're not thousands of dollars, but they're not cheap. They're gonna be a few hundred bucks. Um, so might as well, I feel, get some of the standards. And if you go to you know the usual sites for film gear, you'll see what they have. You'll see what they recommend. I wouldn't buy C-stands on, on Amazon. You want to get it from the film companies and you want to get uh, good quality, right, with good welds and all that kind of stuff. It's a safety thing. You, you want that, you want to hand that C-stand down to uh, uh, your kids. You, you want it to be a family heirloom. That's how I feel, because I think every house should have a C-stand. So, if you have any other questions, like maybe how to use a C-stand, well, we have a whole video we did a couple years back on that, link in the description. Otherwise, ask in the comments, um, and, uh, and I'll try my best to answer them.